Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Halcyon 6. So I've been taking a look at a couple of things. First of all, I've decided to go to the research screen and I've unlocked the, uh, the Ronin and the Crusader, which are direct upgrades of the Knight and Rogue. And we could potentially construct those if we have enough dark matter. So my thinking is... If we put another Dark Matter Creator over here, because we still have enough power. And we would like to get a bit more Dark Matter in there. That'd be great, because right now we have like 3100 materials. They're mostly being automated right now, so we don't have to go out and fetch every time. Which is great. But we have a lot more materials than we do Dark Matter. And we need Dark Matter for new ships. And upgrades and everything. So we're going to be using a lot more dark matter. So I just felt like that would be a good thing to address. Now we've also got James over here. He's about to level up. I'm not sure how much experience he has at the moment. It'd be great to see, but... Don't think we can in here. However, we're going to give him a small menial job. Or we could go to the... That's the Deorthium Reactor. No, we want to go to the Officer Academy. Oh. No, that's not the thing. I want to get improved Officer Education. Again, another thing that favors science. If we're to... It would take you 10 days, so... Yeah. We might want to get James in there instead. He only takes 8 days. It seems to favor tactical more than it does science. Or perhaps... He's just a really... Really good officer, who knows? Anyway, yeah, we're gonna get him to do that for eight days. And then I think the others will just sit by for now. Because we are still working on the uh, dark matter multiplier over there for our second science officer, so we're going to be able to make a lot more. And we've got fire fans sitting idle. I think we will set him to just build another satellite drone. There we go, just build one more, please. And then we'll just forward time for now. Our sensors have picked up something perilously close to the station. You should come have a look. Our best guess is that it's some kind of cruel spawning spore platform. We've called it a spire. We should send a fleet of sufficient strength to investigate. Oh dear. Enemy superstructure detected. Oh Christ. Ooh. To spawn some kind of spire in this sector. It will take more than just defeating the fleet here to destroy it. Oh. Frick. That is really bad. Yeah, this is the game telling me, like, hey, you have fallen far behind. Oh, hi. You just spawned two fleets out of nowhere. You are headed to Alinda. I wish they would show the names here, but no, oh, you're going over there. You are going to Karina. Is that the. Oh, that's right there. Oh. Those are both very uh, crucial to have. We're going to send out the, uh, the best fleet we have, basically. This is going to be. terrible. Yes, we're going to cancel all those jobs, please. Create a dark matter. Continue, please. Continue replicating as well. Acknowledge them being online. Transfer stuff. There we go. Now they're here. Uh, I think we'll go for uploading sensors early on. Or uploading a virus rather. Take all their sensors offline. God, I love these new abilities that we have. Um... Or will soon have. We're going to disable that guy. See if we can take him out first. Sweet. Toss in a single mine over there for good measure. But he resisted. Look at that dodging going on. Let's throw in a spin to win. Do some... Oh, very nice. Very good critical hit there. Um, I'm going to try and disable him. Because he has the most health. There we go, we take a hull breach, but we do inflict damage. 
Inflicts a crippling shot on this guy. Exploit engines being down. Take a crit on our new ship. A lot of evading going on, that is pretty sweet. We're gonna exploit his sensors being offline. And he's dead. I mean, yeah, that's how we roll. We're gonna gang up on that guy next, I guess. Queue up the debuffs. Oh, that's bad. Um. Yeah, we'll inflict sensors of line on here. Um, no, not sensors of line. We'll just take out his engines. Exploit the hull breach. Kill him. Very nice. Now is the time to start healing. Nice hit. Right, heal him first. That's better. You can throw a heal on the executioner. Should we be able to fully heal him? Now we'll just disable his engines again. Try and mess with his speed a little bit. Throw a protective field to reduce the damage that we get. Uh, we'll go inflict a hull breach, I guess. I know his engines are still down. Oh, nice. We dodge. I like dodging. Hmm. We'll just hit a backstab. It does a lot of damage. I know we're just going to resist the uh, ship disable anyway, but... Eh. Get a bit of more of healing done, and that should kill him. And there he goes. Good. Thanks to the uh, hull breach. There we go. Get a lot of dark matter. Leave the system. Alinda needs her help. Or Karina. Who are we to deny, alright? James has been promoted to level 8. I wanted to look at him, but nope. Apparently we don't get to. Let's get a disable on this guy. He should be pretty slow. Right, um, deconstruct to get the debuff going. Exploit it. He's still disabled, that's fine. Inflict a hull breach for next time. Uh, we'll, we'll upload a sensor, see if we can throw off his aim, and unfortunately we cannot. Take a direct hit, it's fine. We're still in this. Throw a repair on ourselves. Should be able to fix all our damage here anyway. It'll be fine. Hull breach exploited, very nice. Keep knocking his engines out. Exploit those engines being down. Throw a protective shield to reduce incoming damage. It's a good thing too. He decided to go for a cheeky strafe there. Nah, it's not like he's gonna live long anyway. Um, hit him with a spin to win. It has the potential to do a surprising amount of damage. Oh, that was a big hit. Uh, weapon supercharge, I guess. Want to try and play for time here. Throw down a shock mine, and it killed him. Pretty drastically, too. Damn. Was hoping we'd be able to get a repair on that one. Well, we might as well bring the Dark Matter with us at this point. And visit the colonies. I mean... Oh well, yeah, they are called colonies. I was about to say, that sounded very imperialistic. Suddenly, we are the seat of the... Uh, what used to be an empire. It'll be fine. It might be time to knock out that portal. Satellite drone has been deployed. Pretty sweet. We don't have any left now. Now we're going to send him around as well. Get all the stuff. Anything else we might want to grab? Probably you. But uh, we'll return you guys home now. You grab all the stuff. Yeah, we don't really need crew at the moment. 
We have plenty. We have plenty of most things. So that's good. We'll send you home too. Oh, we got incoming fleet. Alright. We'll say hello. Xlar Yanthu. Well, we'll talk to James. He can upgrade his things. More damage on the backstab would be useful. Fire at will would be doing more damage, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Any more chances to inflict things? Bleeding. I think we will upgrading for, like, ground combat. Just because we have to keep in mind, ground combat is not a thing you want to ignore unless people want... Uh, unless you want your people to start dying. We'll see what does Lorianthu have to say. Terran Star Base! Based on the wreckage floating nearby, it seems you did us a favor. Destroying the fleet of our rebel nemesis, the Zlar Pesargadei. We apologize if you are forced to take part in our internal conflict, but we are highly impressed with your adroitness. It was nothing. On behalf of the Zlar Yanthu Directorate, we, would for we formally thank you for your actions. Okay. Sweet. Let's take out these uh, rogue collective, I guess. I will not repair. And I will hopefully explain why in a minute. Oh dear, there's more cruel coming. Alright, start combat, I guess. Thankfully, we are the ones that are able to move first. What are it? Sensors and sensors of line. Aha! You're not gonna like this one then, Collective. First of all, we're gonna heal that ship up. Boom! Much better. Melt field. That's eh, not too bad. Have a sensors of line, suckers! Right, repair him. This is that. How about exploiting those sensors being offline? Oh, we are so cruel. Not like the aliens, mind you. Ooh, get a killing blow on him as well. That is very unfortunate for him. And now they're dead. Almost. Yeah, now they're dead. Whoops. Oh well. They died. And gave us stuff in return. The Collective has detected the destruction of its erstwhile components. And is hypercasting us again. Perfect. Scary stuff, right? Anyway. Great that an ancient... Psychotic version of me isn't around to propagate, right? I'll definitely send some materials her way. You humans love materials, after all. Thanks again, buddy. I was sort of hoping for dark matter, but we did get some. Uh, continue replicating. Okay. Now, Officer Academy. What? Um, 30% more XP from combat. What if we set you on that? Nine days. Sure, you know. That's going to get us all higher up in the long run. Alright, return them home. We've got a uh, emergency signal. I would like you to build me the Ronin. Lovely. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to. Actually, you're harassing him. Very sorry to say. The crab colony is like. One of my least prior, my lowest priorities. So, we're gonna have them sit there, unfortunately. Pandora on, keep building more dark matter. It is very much appreciated. And, um, one day left. The new Ronin class starship is now ready for active duty. All it needs now is a commanding officer, which you may assign from the ship management console. That would be Yugi James. Awesome. 
we do a lot more damage. That'll be fun. Right, time to test it in combat. Send the fleet. The Ronin. And we will not repair. Because I am a cheapskate and we need that stuff. Oh, Christ, it sends out a lot of things. That is bad. Oh, you were uh, an adult ghast. A bit bigger than the other one. So we'll disable you, I guess. Or at least try to. Ugh. They don't look like a hull being breached. I think we might want to protect the field. Just to be on the safe side. And I will disable you. For sure this time. There we go. Oh, that field's going to be very helpful. Um, You die next. Good, he's disabled. Throwing a spin to win. Get some nice AoE in there. Ooh, nice. That looked like a severe hit, but no, he apparently dodged. Right. Inflict something upon him. Get a fired will as well. Just making things a little better there. Uh, feels like they're a bit less accurate, which, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind that one bit. Well. Right, upload s virus to their sensors. Doesn't do much, unfortunately. We could exploit it, but I'd rather set up a combo on this guy. We've taken damage, but we're not doing too badly. I throw a b repair on him. There we go, that should fix that. You might need some patching up as well. Beautiful. Finish this guy off. Very nice. Weapons disrupted, unfortunately. We'll throw a disable on that guy. Very nice. Reduce incoming damage. It might be uh, worthwhile. Certainly seems like it. Right. Uh, we'll keep hammering away on him now, I guess. He is a bigger threat, probably. Wouldn't be a bad idea to try and kill him as quickly as we can. Uh, he resisted the ship disable again. He's a nifty bastard. Critical hit, unfortunately. We'll try to disable him again. Throw in a spin to win, get some AoE. Oh, we really hit him hard. And we apparently welcome the punishment. I'm going to throw a repair on the Megas. Hopefully fix that up back to proper. We'll knock out his propulsion. Night is in uh, a bad way. But it's getting better. Upload a virus. There we go, that's more like it. We really should be able to finish him off. Yeah, there we go. Stack some DPS on him. Throw a heal on the knight, it's pretty well... There we go, fix it right back up. He went for a self-heal, that's totally fine. Get a fired will off. Engines are down. Welcome to combo. Protect the field. Pre yeah, there we go. And harass him. Flak. And he should be dead now. Right, there's going to be a bit more of that in this episode because, well, they are coming for us in giant numbers. Thanks, Crab. Sorry. Look at incoming to the starbase. We might have to, like, bring all the people for that. Because they're going to start bombarding us. One day for neural upgrades, one day for dark matter creation... I think we can miss out on material replication for once. You are transiting to Westerland. You are transiting to Boomerang. 
Where's Westerlund? Oh, it's right there. Can we not intercept you? No. Well, we can. We just need to send a digital fleet out here. Officer Academy completed his task. Acknowledged. Bring the stuff. Hey, reputation gained. A lot of the distress signals at the moment. Yeah. 2% damage on the Ronin. Sweet. Bombardment fleet. Understood. Uh, you are done. Um, two days? Yeah, we're going to skip on that. Send a fleet. The supply collection fleet. We're just going to fill it up with whatever we have. We need to assign a commanding officer. I think we'll assign uh, Pandora Ong to the uh, to the well-crewed acolyte. I might have to assign uh, Ibrahim to the executioner. There we go. The best ships in our fleet. Or at least the next best ships. Confirm. Launch anyway. Got some funky music going on, I like it. I think we'll go for Upload Virus, try and... Ah, oh, none of them. Damn it. We could pull a bridge shot off on that guy. He's probably a lot more dangerous than here. That spike. But we could also focus down the spike really quickly. We'll throw a bunch of debuffs on it. Ooh. Very pretty. Speaking of debuffs, hello. Exploit that hull breach. Finish him off. Crippling shot. Take down his engines if we can. No. No bait, unfortunately. But we did disable him, which is nice. We're able to get a heal off, thankfully. Throw the bridge shot. Disrupt his weapons. That's going to make it a bit easier for us. And just start laying on the damage. Uh, he does big hits, unfortunately. We'll inflict a crew panic if we can. Sweet. Crew's panicked. Minus 100% evasion. Inflict a hull breach. And try to cripple his engines. There we go. Set up for all the combos right now. We're gonna throw a heal on everyone. Because we are not in a good way here. Exploit those engines being down. Ooh, damn! Critical hit exploit. He is dead. Way to go, secondary fleet. You have earned my respect. And my thanks. And we've got one more battle. I think after this we'll end the episode. Upload a virus to all these bastards. Only one of them took it, sadly. Throw a disable on him. Rich shot. Go for the one-hit kill. Oh, he's down. From near full health, he's just gone. I like it. Get some nice AoE on those guys, inflict a whole region on that guy, we're gonna focus him down first. Doesn't pay to be weak. Just hit him with the flak. And we could exploit his senses being offline for one more turn, yeah we'll go and do that. Nice damage. Oh. I'll throw a heal out on the Ronin, because it is very much damaged. Or at least it's very damaged. Disable his engines if we can. Throw out a protective field. Ow! Yikes. Get a repair on him, quickly. These things are no laughing matter, I'm afraid. Exploit his hull breach. Very nice. Throw a disable on him. 
You're dead to me, cruel. Throw out a quick heal. There we go. Deconstruct him, try to get that damage over time. While still allowing him another chance to repair. Lovely. Just finish him. Please. There we go, lovely. Seems like we'll need to start working on upgrades for these bad boys. Damage resistance against Cruel, plus 5, nice. That's been dealt with, thank you very much. Cordelia Shaw has been promoted to level 8. Excellent. Well, we've already upgraded your uh, AoE to max. I think we'll go for a blade of field, it's a bit more effective, I think, than the uh, protective layer, but oh well. And that has to wait until next episode. It's getting harder, we have to take out that cruel spire at some point. But that's going to be later, if you enjoyed this episode, do let me know by leaving a like and perhaps a comment down in my comment section below. If you want to watch more Halcyon 6, but you are not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you would like to be one of my officers in this game, do perhaps consider supporting me over at Patreon, as it would help me continue do this. Until next time, have a good one, folks.